I will only be covering the single player side of Dying Light. Everything I say in this review is solely my opinion and not everybody may think the same. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another review which I haven't done in a long time. This review is a game that I'm absolutely in love with. This game is Dying Light. I believe that if you mix Dead Island and Mirror's Edge together then you will get this game. There are features in Dying Light that resemble to both Mirror's Edge and Dead Island. Dying Light is a survival horror game that is based around survival and zombies. It mainly focuses on the atmosphere of the game and the player movement. If you have de if you have played Dead Island, you should already know the basic mechanics. Craft melee weapons and bash zombies' brains in while you collect supplies to survive. The single player for Dying Light is really fun and there are lots of activities to do that will keep you entertained for hours on end. Some of the side missions that you can play in the game are surprisingly better and more fun than some of the main missions that you play in the main storyline. In Dying Light, you can go to different areas, clear safe zones, and rescue survivors while collecting items to improve your weaponry. To progress through the game, you will need to rely on the skill trees which are in the game, which are agility, survival, and power. This will allow you to improve your player stats and weaponry as you will get stronger and you will get the ability to wield more weapons. In conclusion, then, Dying Light is an amazing game with stunning visuals and smooth gameplay. The controls are great, the movement is super smooth, and all the weapons are balanced. For example, I have a sword, uh, it's the Excalibur sword, but it's actually called EXP Calibur. It does around 375 damage, but the durability is so bad that you can't use it that much. And it is really hard to fix and or make. There is a great amount of in-game content that will provide hours of entertainment to the player. Dying Light does have some fantastic elements to make the zombie experience entertaining and atmospheric. I strongly believe that this game is a great addition to the horror survival genre. The only problem I have with the game is that the zombies can sometimes get really overpowered. There are some overpowered zombies like the tank zombies and the zombies in the night which you, you should just run away from. If you guys don't have this game already then you should get this game now because you are missing out. This game is great and I'm having such a fun time playing this game. If you liked my review then of Dying Light then please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Comment in, se in the comment section down below if you are going to be playing this game because I think you should. This game is great. Or if you are playing it already then I want to know what you think of the game. I hope you enjoyed the uh, review and I hope you enjoyed the bonus clip. Goodbye guys. Jeff, and the gas is back on. That's a relief. Tell me, he's irreplaceable. Yeah, well, I'm afraid you're gonna have to find a replacement. <laughs>